Hey guys, Lynn Burke here, owner of Blue City Music in Memphis, Tennessee. How you doing? Well, we're already in November 2019, but Blue City Music is packed. We've got everything we want in stock. Everything's here. I'm going to show you some of the things we've added since the last video we've done earlier in the year. Some of the changes we've made. I'm going to start out coming in right here in the front door. Right off the bat, you're greeted with a, a row of Mesa Boogie Fillmore 50, Fillmore 25, Mark 5 25, California Tweed, and California Tweed 112 products right here. We're the biggest Mesa Boogie dealer anywhere around here, that's for sure. And after speaking to my sales rep and Mesa Boogie earlier in the week, he said I was in the top 10 in North America. We stock everything in here, variations of, except for the Lone Star amps. And the only reason we don't carry them right now is because we're already carrying another Class A amp from Matchless. Since you walk in, we got still got our turntable system over here, pushing 2,000 watts through a QSC, Yamaha-powered Project Audio turntable. 48 inch 4K monitor, all kinds of good videos, music videos. We carry Diodario DR strings, as well as guitars, bass, 12 string, and either acoustic or electric, coated, non coated. We got custom straps from Perry's. Also have custom straps from Levy's. You'll see the Diamond Tactical gig bags over there. If you're a shooter, an H&K 91 will fit in there. AK will fit in there. AR will fit in there. FNFAL, Valmet 76, Galil, anything like that will fit in there. And everybody will think it's a guitar, so you can take that to the range. And you can use these packets down here, these pouches, and hook them up to the strapping system, same as I used to use in the military when I was flying C-130s for the Air Force, Air National Guard here in Memphis. Strap it on the way you want it. We're a Seagull dealer. Got about 13 different types of Seagulls in here, including some custom shop pieces like this one right here, this OM. It's a really nice piece. Got a full-size Dreadnought right here. Also, one of their artist series. What I'm really happy about is we just picked up FURC. F-U-R-C-H guitars. Those are handmade in the Czech Republic. So these are going to fit right in the price range between my well, seagulls that are going to go from $399 up to $1299. These are going to go from $1300 to right around $3000. Now, I could go all the way up to the orange or the red series, if you like, or the rainbow series, which is going to push between the fours and fives. But that's what I've got uh, Marty McMillan's custom acoustics for in here to cover that range. So I've got everything you need in here. Even got this bass rig in here, which is way cool. Right here, these are my Tele and Strats. These are relics from Mike Lampron that owns Ventura County Vintage. This Tele right here is a monster. That's one of the last sets of 51 Fender Nocaster relic pickups. I liked them so much. I gutted the pickups out of my own Tom Anderson telly and put these in there. Got a Frank Varelli Strat right here. These are handmade in, in Atlanta. So get everything you need from Relic Tellies and Strats. Down on the bottom are the base amps from Mesa, the Subway Series, the D800, 800 Plus, and the WD800. And I've also got a 112, a 115 and a 210. Only pre-owned amp I have in here right now is this 82 Deluxe Reverb from Fender. Here's my Lakeland bases. I'm a proud dealer for them. I've got two custom shop pieces like this burl top right here. This five string is awesome. 
Then I've got four of the Skyline series. So I've got bases in here covered. Over here are the McMillans. Marty just dropped off two more for me today, a Dread and an OM. These are some of the best built acoustics, best sounding money can buy. They take me anywhere from four to eight months to get. These are sensational. Coca Bola Wood, Koa, Bear Claw, Bear Claw Sitka Spruce, Adirondack Master Grade Tops, Engelman Spruce Tops, Walnut Tops. We got every kind of wood you can, you can uh, want in here for those. These are fantastic. Other guitars we have in here, of course, I've still got all my diamonds. I bought and sold a lot of them. These are South Korean, guys. All these are South Korean. These are the, came from the last batch of world music South Korean guitars. These are monsters. Coil Taps, Grovers, Seymour Duncan, real pickups, EMGs, real Floyd Roses. There's not a guitar on that wall over $900. Best under $1,000 guitars money can buy. We had to change factories because world's out of business. Got a Chinese factory now that's making custom stuff for us, and we're getting that all lined up right now. But these are the last South Koreans. Here's my logo. Thanks to Yurda in Germany. She always takes care of me. Here's some of the amps we got out here. Here's some Mesa Boogies. Fillmore 50 with the 212. Dual rectifier. Rectiverb 25, the 212 vertical. There's a dual rectifier that set the world on fire, 90s and 2000s. They just came out with a gold diamond plate instead of the aluminum diamond plate in a limited edition, if you want. Oversized 412. There's a custom shop, Triple Crown 50. Amazing amp. Rectiverb 25, Mark 5, um, 35, 112 combo, custom shop. There's a Theo 112 cabinet. Plenty of diamonds over here. Spec Op with the 412. Heretic, Takata, a couple of assassins. And then down there on the end, I've got a, an acoustic amp from Mesa. It's called the Rosette. You'll also see I've got my ukuleles over here against the wall. Those are custom Oscar Schmitz made by Washburn Guitars. Nuno Betancourt plays one. He plays Washburn uh, for Rihanna. He's a real deal. Spalted Mango, Trembezi Wood, Bacate, you name it. Also have hard shell cases, soft shell, gig bags, humidifiers, capos, Kaiser capos for guitars. There's all ukulele straps, strings, picks, you name it. Also carry Vic Firth drumsticks, Two A's, two B's, five A, five B's, seven A's, seven A's, a little bit of everything. Here are my matchless amps. This is an Independence 35 with a 212. I've got a Lightning 112 combo. I've got a Clubman 35 with a 212 cabinet. And I've got the quintessential finest Class A amp ever made right here. Match, matchless DC-30. I have my own, which is a 1994 DC-30. This has reverb. All of these do. Mine does not. Couldn't find one with it. Coming back over on this side is my playroom over here. None of this stuff's for sale over here. Stuff I've collected for myself. My one-off Alabama inlaid head shell. That's a one-off SLO that Mike and I spent two years on. I'm not a dealer with Soldano anymore. Mike is still like a brother to me. Love him to death. He's a great guy. Hadn't talked to him in a while. He's playing with his cars and he designed some stuff for the new owners in LA. And um, I understand that's going to be ready soon. But for me, if it wasn't Mike, Russ, Don, and Bill, it's just not Soldano to me. And that's okay. That's just my choice as a consumer. Uh, I've got a uh, Collings Acoustic, uh, that's a uh, Dreadnought D2H. Uh, my 79 High Watt DR103. My two Marshalls. I got a 69 Plexi on the top. 
71 Super Lita on the bottom with a 1977 412 with Alnico 90 creams and an X with English 75 watt cream bags. There's my 64 AA864. No, it is not an AB165. It's an AA864. Completely original. So Donald's worked on all these amps. He was my tech for a long time. Bill Sunt does it for me now if Mike Mason here in Memphis doesn't do it. This is a monster amp. Yan Gui Fei on top. What's her relevance? Well, I spent a lot of time in China and I respect the heritage, certainly not the Communist Party, but uh, this is from the Tang Dynasty. Uh, Yan Gui Fei was one of the most famous Chinese women in their history. Up here's my Guild J, uh, JF30, 12 string. It's a monster recording guitar. And then I've got a, a custom Les Paul Joe Glazer built for me and my Tom Anderson Telly. Over here, I'm running a 6,000 watt PA system. You wanna come in here and try out some equipment, guitars. What's it sound like in a band setting? What's this amp gonna sound like? Knock yourself out, come on in. I'm running a 6,000 watt QSC PA system in this rack over here. 1,000 watt enclosures, 12 inch tops, dual 12 subs down to 44 hertz. Two monitor mixes, two vocal mixes, DIs for acoustic and keyboard and I've got amp shields, drum shields. This right here is a 1981 Marshall JCM 800 2204. This is Michael Schenker all over it with a G1275 selection cabinet. That's the last South Korean bird of, play, bird of prey made with the original dual horn headstock. My 1979 Precision Bass with a, an original 1970 Ampeg Blue Line SVT with a matching 810. That came from Sam the Shaman the Pharaohs, Wooly Bully, Little Red Riding Hood. Over here is a custom drum kit I got from my drummer, uh, John Floyd. He really hooked me up on this one. It turned out fantastic. It's a custom Fatty, P-H-A-T-T-I-E. This was a NAM kit. He was setting the world on fire with drums and then um, his, his daughter was killed in a car wreck and he decided he just didn't want to do this anymore and he retired. Uh, Dream Symbols, Sabian Symbols, Artist 9000 hardware from DW, DW 14 inch limited edition carbon steel snare, 13 inch rack, 16 floor, 18 floor. I've got a Speed Pro, Thomas Speed Pro uh, dual pedal from the bass drum. Everything in here is mic'd, guys. Everything goes through this PA. Over here, I've got my own Triple Crown 100. And as a Bama booster, of course, it's in red. And of course, there's an elephant on there. Uh, roll Tide, by the way. And no, we're not gonna get out of the football playoff. We will be there this year in 2019, fact. I'm sitting on a Mesa 412 Vintage 30, and there's my matchless. My main player right here is this Tom Anderson Cobra S. Both my Andersons are solid, except for these pickups. I've got a custom set that John Grundy at Throwback Pickups designed for me because I'm one of his dealers. Those are 7.4, 7.5 output and an A2 and an A5 magnet that matches the pickups in my 61 Les Paul, my original PAFs, and it's really close. Uh, this is a DBZ one-off, completely one-off Royale that Marty McMillan made for me, who also makes those acoustics I just showed you. This is the only P90 guitar Dean Zielinski ever made. Gold hardware, Almof Jerry Amalfitano, Alnico 2, soap bar P90s. It's a monster. Here's all our pedals over here. Luna Stone, Zvex, Mesa Boogie. On top, you'll see I've got two racks of V-Picks. Vinnie Smith makes some great picks. These are all hand beveled acrylics, different thicknesses, different sizes. Over here are the throwbacks. I've got six sets of throwbacks in here that you can come in and check out. They're great. All, most of these are all PAFs. One aged set. 
Still have some fat tone pickups that Tommy Beard and I were dealing with many years ago. Those are great pickups. And then I'm also a tube amp doctor dealer. Of course, any music store should have a row of picks and we've got them as well. So that's mainly just kind of an overview of the main shop here. Let me show you exactly what we have in the back in our demo room. No such animal exists like this anywhere, anywhere. When you first walk in here, Here's my logo. Thanks again to Yurta. Centerpiece right here. I've got a Bob, Bryant, Bob Bradshaw, eight amp switcher. Only one he's made. With a cord rack tuner on top. I run these four diamonds, Diamond Spitfire two on top. This is one Dean Zelensky made for me as well. The head shell. That's 5A flame top maple. Lights up yellow or amber. Below that is a Nitrox. Think dual rec, uh, Uber shawl from Bogner, or even a VH4 from Diesel. And this is a two and a half channel amp, like most of the Diamond USA amps are. They're all EL34s. Um, we did see some versions of 6L6s, but Chris and I and the new owner, Jason Struble, had talked about that, and we all agreed to go back to EL80, EL34s. 6L6s are great. A lot of guys like it. That's still an option, but. This is where we're headed back to EL34s. That's an earth-shaking amp right there. Down the bottom is a Phantom. And then over here is a Diamond Hammersmith. Thank Judas Priest through a vintage 3412. Over here, I've got a custom shop, JP2C, John Petrucci, head and solid, wall, solid, solid uh, maple. Triple Crown 100, Triple Crown 50, Mark 590, think Brad Gillis and Night Ranger, through a vintage 30, 412 as well. All the pedals are all hooked up. Same thing here. And this is this, this is the pedal for the Bradshaw. Only thing we have over here is the Mark 535 and the uh, Rectiver 25 pedal. And how do you run those? Through that, that tone bone, head bone, head switcher. Over here, these are Mezzabarbas. Pure Angelo Mezzabarba makes these in a city outside of Rome. And these are really great amps. Trinity on the top there in the middle. Skill 30 in the, in the middle, which is a 30 watt head. And on the bottom was the original flagship, and that was the M0 Overdrive. Sitting on a 412 vintage 30s. There's a Diamond Heretic. That one actually is a 6L6 amp. And then here's a 212 Metzabarba with Greenbacks 25 Waters from China. Those speakers have moved back to production in England. And that's one of my heads right there. That is a, uh, the diamond version of the Roy Blankenship Carry-On. 18-watt Class A Marshall Slayer. Some of these are here. Well, these are all mine right here. I've got a, uh, a completely original one-owner Basically never been touched. All original RCA tubes still in it. Virgin. 73 Princeton. Here's my little mini Alabama rig that Russ Clapp made for me at Soldano. He wrapped it for me in a Naugahyde. Spark, red sparkle, white sparkle, Naugahyde. That is actually, guys, not a Hot Rod 25. That is a Hot Rod 50. Plus, on top, of a Hot Rod 25 chassis, and it still has the same post master volume effects loop. It's closer to an SLO because it has that full power 50 watt trannies instead of the 25 water, which is more of a brown sound on the 25. This amp right here is a, is a monster. That Bill Sunt made this for me, Mike's right hand man. This is a 1948 RCA original 15 watt PA amp with all NOS glass in it. It, and he configured it as a 5F6A tweed basement for me. The speaker cabinet is custom from Dave Florio. He, he was doing all of Mike's cabinets for about 30 years. Uh, he was also a big influence at Soldano. His cabinetry is fantastic. I had him make me a four inch cutout in the back. So I've got this loaded with a Celestion G12H30 English speaker, but my good bud and, and national distributor for Celestion and artist sales, Rick Skillman, 
He's sending me two Ruby 35s, the new Al Nico spirit, the speaker. And I'm going to put one of those in there. Lastly, down here of the amps uh, in here is serial number one. This is my brainchild. I came up with this idea because the Ashover 20 watt EL84 amp did not have enough clean headroom. This is a 50 watt Soldano 44 in Blue City Music trim with Regency Blue. No one got that except me. And we should have sold hundreds, if not thousands, of these. This is a gigging amp. Two master volumes, phenomenal reverb. Nothing like a fender that ping pongs your head all over the place. This thing has got a longer decay and less of it, and you can use it. I, I used it as a delay. It was fantastic. And then uh, back in here, I'll show you. Yeah, I've got my demo, another demo room. I've got a three-channel diesel Herbert, my own personal one there, with a 212 ISO cab from Hermit Cabs. This next room here, I've got, this is my photo booth. And it works out fantastic for that. Over here is where I have all my band equipment for my kids. Try to help the kids stay out of trouble. Over here, I've got some more tubes, all the Mesa Boogie tubes, JJ's, Gold Lions, KT88, 6L6s, EL34s, EL34Bs, 6V6s. I've got three sets, or two sets, of the last Gold Series HP groove tubes, KT66s, known to man. And then, finally, right here are my cables. We're a rattlesnake dealer. Those are made in Missoula, Montana. We're a lava dealer. Those are the original lavas when Mike Stoddard owned the company before he sold it to Repcon Horizon. George L's, and then Niles from Solid Cable. Those are what I use primarily, the, the Solid Cable's Dynamic Arc Betas. That's what I use. So you've pretty much seen everything in here at Blue City Music. Everything is in stock. We can get anything from any of these manufacturers anytime you want it. Just let us know. And uh, hopefully this guy right here, I finally found that poster. Uh, it actually was on canvas. I think that's one of the best rock and roll posters of all time. I, I met him in April of 78. He's a great guy. Uh, we wish him well. He's fighting throat cancer in Europe right now. But that guy put guitar back on the map. Uh, Eddie Van Halen. None like him. I think that's the most iconic picture in rock and roll. The original, the guy wanted four grand. I wasn't going to pay that. And I found this in China. And they did a great job with it. That picture's from the Iron Bowl in 2018 when we smoked Auburn. That's always a beautiful day. So... Anytime you need something from Blue City Music, you let us know. Uh, we can find any of this stuff for you. We can order anything you want. Go to www.bluescitymusic.com. We've got all the social media, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Alignable, um, LinkedIn, all that stuff. You can, if you can't find us, you're not trying. Or you can just pick up the phone and call us. And I'll be sure to get back with you. No one works for me. Brad Dunn helps me out a lot. Jim Laycook helps me out a lot. And um, sometimes when my daughter's in town, she helps me out. So give us a call, 901-485-8250. Once again, the website is an encrypted web store, www.bluescitymusic.com. Come in here and check out our, our gear. We have... Uh, special hours, call ahead, uh, maybe out of the country. When normally, I uh, am out of the country on a lot of times. Web store is always open. You can set up an appointment, and you can do exactly what we do. You could come in here and play as long and as loud as you want. We turn it up in here. We even labeled our first record that. Turn it up. So do that. Give us a call. We'll be glad to take care of you. Till then, turn it up.